Thanks for joining me on this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content on the channel. And also be sure to follow me on these other social media platforms. Links are in the description below. All right, have and have not fans. We are looking at a new episode of the haves and have nots, a father's regret. In about uh, less than six hours from now. Yeah, I'm recording this at 3.15. Oh, uh, wow. This is interesting. I was going to do this in one video, but to be honest, I felt like it deserved two separate ones. I mean, we're talking Veronica Harrington. I feel like I'm going to do one about uh, what Veronica is going to do if she finds out David's still alive. And then on the flip side, um, about if Veronica can even be taken down. So look forward to that. But I already did a video about... Uh, what will Jim and David get even with Veronica? Already did that one. That one did pretty well. It hasn't even been up a day yet. It's doing pretty well. So I decided to keep the Veronica train going on the tracks here. And just an open question, you know, what will Veronica do when she finds out that David is still alive? Do you think she'll go try to finish the job off or... Do you think that she'll just let him su suffer? W what do you think will happen? Because as it was mentioned way back in season three, when she uh, quote unquote attempted to leave her husband in a burning building, you know, when she caught the, uh, or excuse me, set their house on fire the next day at the crier house, you know, when they're getting ready for the whole Amanda funeral and whatnot. Veronica and David talked to each other and David was told by Veronica that oh I wasn't trying to kill you baby I was trying to you know just mess you up a little get you scarred up and whatnot that way no other woman will want you but me so in her own twisted way she was saying that David I wasn't trying to kill you I was trying to deform you physically to the point that no other woman would find you attractive and want you but me so I mean take that however you can I'm pretty sure she was more than willing to let David burn because I remember he came back home and was like Veronica I'm coming back home I'm moving back home and in the morning we're going to go and put you in a rehab center to get you some help and she's like you better get out of here you better not stay here you better not you better go you better leave but he wouldn't do it so that's what happened now I will admit I think I mentioned this um, in several other videos you know after the explosion and whatnot and David got blown back and we see that his back has been physically banged up. I don't... Did he have any scarring on the face? I couldn't really tell. I mean, well, it is easy to see why. Because, you know, he was face down the entire time. And we briefly saw his face lifted up when he was being rolled into the hospital. But really, the main scarring is on the back. So, And he said that his legs hurt or something or he can't feel his legs. So... Will he be in a wheelchair like Charles on um, Diary of Mad Black Woman? I don't know. But I think I mentioned this in the, uh, I forgot which video it was, but I talked about what it, I think it was the video I did about was Erica killed off too soon. Will Veronica try to finish him off? I don't think so because of the fact that if David is like physically banged up or something like that, I think she will feel that. Well, she will feel more satisfied by that than killing him off because, number one, he didn't see the explosion going. I feel like, to me personally, if I were Veronica and that evil and conniving, I think David would definitely be more heartbroken, alive than dead. Like, you know, let's say he's dead. That's it. You know, caught off guard by the explosion. That's a wrap. It's over. Her, him and Erica are both dead. But when it comes to living... Not only is he possibly physically scarred, you know, with the back, and we don't know about the condition of his legs, but on top of that, you know, the the woman that he was falling in love with literally died and there was nothing he could do. I mean, he screamed out Veronica, so he, he knows it was a third party involved in this. At least it's not the quote-unquote guilt of, I bought the car and it exploded. Not really. Veronica was the one that set everything up. But he might feel guilt because he could have stuck it. I, I mean, and again, I can't help but make these references because they're so similar. It's almost like the whole Batman and Joker thing is like, can Batman truly feel guilty about all the lives lost and all the families affected by the Joker because he doesn't do what needs to be done, which is just kill him? Because if you kill the Joker, you save 
hundreds if not thousands of people from being buried in the cemetery when you look at the flip side of that david and veronica and, and that's going to be my other video about you know um is veronica untouchable i think that's a good title good title it goes back to the fact that if david did what needed to be done seasons ago that would have saved some people now erica i truly don't feel like she was falling for david at first i did but the ovulate the ovulating test not a pregnancy test it was an ovulation stick to see if she could get pregnant I feel like that was a con in itself, leading me to believe that she truly was in it for the money. So sadly, David is going to be mourning over somebody that didn't even care about him. It was all a setup to begin with. But I feel like Veronica will probably be gleefully happy. I mean, she's going to be talking with uh, agents tonight. I don't know if they're from the police department, but based off the suits and everything, I'm going to assume it's the FBI because FBI will be at David's house um, at the scene of the crime. And she's going to be talking, I think the FBI, do you know anybody that want to hurt your husband? Me. And then um, I think in that exclusive look we got earlier this month, that's when she was like, uh, this night keeps getting better and better. My guess is that, you know, the FBI agent will be rattling off the list about car explosion, one casualty, and then, you know, talking about David. And, you know, as he's going down the list, this night keeps getting better and better. I wonder if it will be discovered that, you know, David is alive. Or will it be something that's left as a cliffhanger? I, honestly, I feel like that would be a great cliffhanger. I don't know if it will be, but Veronica's shock finding out David is alive will be good enough for me. But I feel that either way, personally, I feel like Veronica would be in a win-win situation because if both of them are dead, her mission was accomplished. If David is alive, but he has some deformities or physical challenges due to the explosion, that's going to be even better because she'll know that you know his heartbreak and everything he's going to be physically and mentally damaged and emotionally damaged i feel like that's a fate even worse than death i think jim said that to oscar when he's like you already threatened to kill me what else can you do it's like you'll find oscar there are some things that are worse than death which is actually kind of accurate it depends on how you look at that kind of stuff but i feel that I wonder if he's I wonder if Veronica's gonna be frustrated. Will she end up calling the hitman back and then cursing him out? Oh I I really don't know what I feel like Veronica can go either way. You know this channel, I talk about theories and whatnot. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. Veronica is almost one of the well, Veronica is like the hardest person to decipher because she has so many personalities in one body. So it's hard for me to tell if she'll be upset about something or if she'll just brush it off. Sometimes she'll be pissed off about something and then just Oh, well, things worked out the way it's supposed to anyway kind of thing. I honestly don't know. I feel like she could be happy if David is dead, surprised slash pissed off if he's alive. But when the guy actually says what's wrong with him, like, you know, his back's pretty bad, you know, his legs, this and that, she actually might be enjoying this. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As I said in the earlier video, I really hope there is a scene, even though I don't know if this can happen because if David is proclaiming loudly that Veronica did this and there are FBI agents outside of his hospital room, I don't know if she'll be allowed to go into the room, but I'm pretty sure if, and I would love to see this, Veronica going to visit David by